Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. Every year on a New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, we always have pork, some kind of cabbage, and black eyed peas in our house just to ensure good luck and good fortune into the new year. This year I'm going to be making a slow cooker southern hop and john recipe. The ingredients are extremely simple. Not a lot going on in this dish, but man is it going to have a lot of flavor when we get done. I'm starting off with one cup of black eyed peas that I rinsed and then allowed to soak overnight in just some water. One small to medium onion that I've diced up. Four strips of bacon that I've cut into little chunks. One and a half cups of uncooked long grain rice. A half of a teaspoon of re crushed red pepper flakes. I've got some green onion that I'm going to use to garnish it when it's done. And I'll be cooking mine in some spicy vegetable broth. This could easily be interchanged with water or chicken stock or even beef stock if you want. It doesn't really matter. It's all going to work. So let's get this stuff moved out of the way. Get moved over to the stove and we can start bringing our dish together. Here at the stove, starting in a cold pan, I'm going to add my bacon along with a little splash of water. I the water is totally optional here. I just find it allows the bacon to start cooking a little bit slower and rendering a little bit more of that fat out, ensuring that we get a really nice crispy brown bacon. I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn my stove on to about a medium. And plus I find that my bacon doesn't splatter quite as much. The water is going to evaporate, uh, evaporate, evaporate. <laughs> evaporate off <laughs> I'm making up words again y'all you gotta forgive me while the bacon cooks down and I do want to make sure I get in there and break this up so we get each little piece nice and brown once your bacon has browned up go ahead and add in the onions right on top of them and we're gonna saute these for about five minutes or until the onions start to soften up after cooking for four minutes, my onions are starting to soften up and they're just starting to turn a little translucent. And I want to go ahead and add in my red pepper flakes now and allow these to cook for the last minute of that five minute saute. Now that the onions and bacon are done, it's time to start adding our ingredients into the slow cooker. And I'll start with my black eyed peas. And then next in goes the bacon, the onions, and whatever drippings are left in there. Top this off with four cups of whatever liquid you're choosing to cook your beans in. And I like to add my black pepper at this time. Give it a quick stir. And then the lid goes on and this is going to cook on low for about three to four hours or until the beans are tender. It's been uh, three hours since I've started the beans in the slow cooker and I have checked them for doneness and they do mash down pretty quickly. And when I try it, it is nice and soft so these are definitely ready for the next step which is to add the one and a half cups of rice. I'll stir that in and I'm gonna add in a good hefty pinch of salt. I think it definitely needs some. I don't like to add my salt in too early. I think you end up with a tougher bean and it definitely takes a little bit longer for them to cook. At least that's been my experience with it. All right, this is going to go back on the low and covered and cook for another one to one and a half hours or until the rice is cooked all the way through and all the liquid has been absorbed. After about an hour and five minutes, the rice is completely cooked in our Hoppin' Johns. All the liquid has been absorbed and I've garnished it with those diced green onions. So let's get in here and try it out, see what I think about it. These turned out incredibly well. The beans are cooked all the way through, as is the rice. I like the flavor. The red pepper flakes give it a nice spicy little kick that I appreciate. The only thing is, is I think there might be a little bit too much rice for me, so I think the next time I do this, 
I will add just one cup of the rice instead of a cup and a half. But overall, these are going to be a wonderful addition to my New Year's Eve festivities, festivities I should say. But uh, that is going to be it for me for 2022. This will be my last cooking video of the year. So thank you all so very much for joining me this whole entire year with all the other recipes that I've done. I truly appreciate all of your support on them. It's been an incredible year. If you have enjoyed this video, leave me a comment down below. If you guys tried this recipe out, let me know how it turned out for you. And as always, thank you all so very much for joining me today. I've been Volk Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.